I'm Miranda Valentine, editor of the Lifestyle blog, Everything Sounds Better in French, and today I'm gonna show you how to make a party favorite guacamole. Um, I'm super excited about this dish. It's one of my favorite things. It's chock full of healthy ingredients, um, really healthy fats from the avocados, and it's just so completely delicious. So I'm really excited to share it with you today. Uh, the ingredients are simple. Uh, I'm using two avocados that I've already cut um, into little chunks. And I'm gonna get back to that in a minute about the shape of the avocado because there are two schools of thought for uh, guacamole texture, so hold that thought. Uh, the next up is I have a quarter cup of chopped red onion. If I'm gonna do raw onion in something, I personally prefer red onion, um, but whatever your onion preference, about a quarter of a cup. Um, I'm going to do the juice of one lime, some salt, and I am going to do one chopped tomato. So we're gonna add it all up, kind of mix it around, um, and then depending on what kind of guacamole texture person you are, you're either gonna smash it or you're gonna leave it in the cubes, which is my personal favorite, and I'm telling you, I get some compliments, so we can, you know, we can go back and forth about the met best method of that. So let's just start by adding in the tomatoes uh, into your guacamole bowl. It's just so colorful and fresh. And I love the taste of the lime in there. Okay, so we're just gonna start and just toss it around, toss it around. And this is a really basic guacamole, but you can add other things if you wanted cilantro, you could put cilantro in there. If you wanted to do vinegar, you could add some vinegar. Um, you could do lemons instead of limes. You can just have a guacamole party. Um, okay, let's add in our onion, give that another little mix. And you can certainly serve this right away, but with a lot of things that are mixtures of ingredients, um, it'll be better if you let it sit and let um, the flavors kind of meld together, let the onion really um, mix into the avocado, that sort of thing. This is just like such a fresh dish. And I'm making this for you so quickly that um, I'm not worried about my guacamole browning at the moment, um, but if you leave the avocado pit in with your avocado kind of as you mix, um, and until you serve it, it will keep it from getting brown. So that's a really helpful hint um, because regardless of how good it tastes, nobody wants to serve browned guacamole, right? Okay, so let's put in some salt. I definitely recommend using a crunchier salt. Um, sea salt is a fantastic option. I'm using coarse kosher salt, um, but that really helps give it like a nice little crunch. So I'm just gonna sprinkle, sprinkle, and toss. Okay. All right, now we're gonna do the juice of the lemon. So I've already kind of rolled it out so that it's, it's nice and juicy. So I'm just gonna squeeze it on top. And this one's acting difficult, so we're just gonna squeeze it with, there we go, with the wooden spoon. Really get all that juice out. Fantastic. This is that nice little like acidic-y, citrusy taste, which you just have to have in guacamole for sure. So squeeze, 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 and let's do the other one. And after you make this basic recipe, like test out different things, see what you like. See if you like more lime juice, if you like less, if you're just loving the salt and want more of that. Just experiment a little bit. That's good. I'm satisfied with the amount of lime juice I have. So just give it one more little toss. Oh, and try to keep yourself from eating straight out of the bowl. So it's kind of rude, I guess and it looks amazing. I cannot wait to eat it. And that is how you make guacamole. Thanks for watching. Make sure to subscribe. And if there's something that you wanna learn how to make, send me an email at requests at And don't forget to check out our other great videos.